Welcome back to another episode of Origins, where we continue to bring you the origins of characters from the colorful world of comic books. Today, we're going to be looking at Captain America's second most famous counterpart, Sam Wilson, the Falcon. Sam is actually the first African-American superhero in mainstream comics, beating out Luke Cage, Blade, and even Jon Stewart. He is introduced to us in the Captain America comic book, and his stories are prominently featured when they renamed the series Captain America and the Falcon throughout most of the 1970s. So who is the Falcon, you might ask? Well, his origins begin in the Harlem borough of New York City, where he was raised in a pleasant childhood by his father, Paul Wilson, a Christian minister, and his mother, Darlene Wilson. Growing up in New York, he had a hobby for training and keeping pigeons in his rooftop pigeon coop on the roof of his home. However, in his teens, he encounters racism, and it makes him an angst-filled and disillusioned teenager, and he refuses to join his father's church. During his personal crisis, his father was actually killed trying to break up a street fight, and shortly after this, his mother was murdered by a mugger. With his world shattered, he makes a move to Los Angeles, and he embraces darkness as he creates a new persona that only looks out for himself. He becomes a criminal figure by the name of Snap Wilson. On an illicit job, he ventures to Rio de Janeiro. However, his plane crashes on a strange island known as Exile Island. On this place, we actually discover that it's being controlled by the villainous group named the Exiles that once served the supervillain Red Skull. The Exiles were stranded here by the Red Skull and they were left to their own wretched devices, seemingly enslaving the indigenous peoples of this island. During his time here, Snap Wilson meets and befriends a falcon named Red Wing, using his old skill set that he once used to train pigeons. And the two soon create a strong bond that Sam uses to survive on this island. Eventually, he becomes caught up in a plot between Red Skull and Captain America, who was there hunting the Red Skull. You see, Red Skull happened upon Sam, and using the Cosmic Cube, he attempts to create Sam into a pawn of his own so he can use him in the elaborate chess game that he set up. With the cube, Red Skull reshapes Snap Wilson's villainous history into a more positive one by removing any memory of being a criminal. He then replaces that history with a history of becoming a community organizer and a social worker. Also with the Cosmic Cube, Red Skull imbues Sam with the ability to telepathically communicate with his avian companion, Red Wing. The telepathic bond also extends itself to communication with all other birds. So, now that he's created this would-be hero, the Red Skull's trap was set. When Captain America met up with Sam Wilson, they formed a fast friendship, and Captain America worked with Sam to inspire a rebellion to free the enslaved islanders. Then Steve Rogers trained Sam Wilson in the art of combat, and he helps him forge a new costumed persona named the Falcon. They then do battle against the Exiles and the Red Skull, defeating them all. Talk about one of the times the Red Skull's plan backfired on him, huh? After the incident on the island, Falcon goes back to New York and he acts as a costumed vigilante working side by side with Captain America. He also becomes a positive member of the community by becoming a social worker as his day job. At first he would just jump from rooftop to rooftop along with his bird Red Wing until later he befriends Black Panther. Now Black Panther is from the Wakandan country where they have Wakandan technology, which is far more advanced than any other country in the world. He gives him an incredible wing harness that allows him to fly. And this is how Sam Wilson truly became the Falcon. Sam's power set is fairly simple. While he does not have any superpowers that make him super strong or super fast, he has received constant and rigorous training from the world's greatest combatant, Captain America. His telepathic bond with Red Wing gives him expansive senses, allowing him to see through the eyes of his companion. Furthermore, he can reach out and see through the eyes of any other birds in the world, giving him millions of eyes throughout all of New York City. Of course, his gifted Wakandan technology gives him the power of flight also. While the specifics of the technology are truly numerous and marvelous, it has been revealed that the costume itself is infused with a vibranium mesh, which allows it to deflect any small arms fire. So there you have it, the comic book origins of Sam Wilson, the Falcon. Now you might be a little more familiar with his current incarnation as the current Captain America, since Steve Rogers has gotten so old, but you can expect a future video explaining how that actually happened and more about his Marvel Now escapades. I hope you did enjoy this origin story, and you can kind of see how it's so different from the movie version. In the movie, he's just a soldier who was a part of a top secret project. 
If you're learning something new in this video, please give it a like. And if you want to chat about any video, join us at Twitter at ComicStorian. Now, don't forget, we have two other channels that we're really focused on. Our gaming variety channel, known as Eligible Monster, and our List About Everything channel, List Bomb. We just launched it, and we could really use your guys' support by going on over to the List Bomb, which will be in the description down below, and subscribing and checking out our videos. Basically, all the research that we do for everything, I find a lot of weird things, like the eight creepiest deep sea creatures, the eight biggest hamburgers in the world, and the eight craziest deaths in comic books. Go check all those videos out, we would really appreciate it. And I'll see you guys next time, right here at Comic Story.